the Joe Rogan experience. Um, do you have that same optimistic uh, perception about the ocean? Well, first of all, let me um, say what I think about the word optimism, because okay. I know that you're not doing this, but a lot of people, when they talk to me and call me an optimist, they actually mean that I'm an over-optimist. And when they call themselves a realist, they mean that they're a pessimist. Um, so, but, but anyway, about the ocean, of course. I mean, what's the difference? You know, there's certainly there's a lot to do. One big problem right now, of course, is the ocean is storing a lot of carbon and releasing a lot as it's warming up. So we definitely have to fix that as well, but it's part of the same problem. You know, the less carbon there is in the atmosphere, the less, the less of a problem that is. Direct carbon removal from the atmosphere is a technology that's absolutely, you know, burgeoning now, and direct carbon uh, capture from the ocean seems to be something that's equally plausible, though it's obviously different. So, sure. Um, I'm... I'm optimistic in terms of the ability to clean up the ocean. Um, I've had Boyan Slot on a, a couple times. Okay. Do you aware of him? Mm -hmm. His devices that he's created to remove plastics mm -hmm. and other um, garbage from the ocean. My, my concern is wild fish. That uh, the depletion of the fish populations is at an unprecedented rate, and it seems to be we're somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 years away from a catastrophic, mm -hmm. complete collapse of wild fisheries. Well, right. And, of course, this is, again, a problem that can be fixed by technology. You know, if you can make artificial red meat, why not make artificial fish? Well, that wouldn't – that would be good that we can have artificial fish, but that wouldn't necessarily make that – population rebound we would have to make large steps to try to bring back the the equilibrium of the ocean that's not clear i mean um it's not clear it's not clear no i mean a lot, most of as i understand it anyway this is not an area i'm expert on of course so okay. i may be wrong but um most of the severe depletions of populations of specific fish fish species are because of fishing Yes. Because of overfishing. So if we're not doing the overfishing because we're making the same fish elsewhere on land. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure a lot of it is being done by the United States, but I'm sure, and Great Britain and a lot of first world countries, but I'm sure a lot of it is also being done by countries that can't afford to make this artificial fish or don't have the access to it, or at least in the time period that it's going to take before these fisheries rebound. It's, it, when I talk to people that have an understanding of wildlife in the ocean, they say it's a desperate time. And it's a desperate time that is not really being recognized by the general population because they can still get sushi. Mm -hmm. They can still get halibut at the local market. But that if you talk to the fishermen, if you talk to the wildlife biologists that are really studying the levels, they're like, Dude, this is nearing a point of no return. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't dispute that. I think it's urgent. But all that really says is we should be investing more in the development of these new technologies that will hasten the um, ability to rebound. I wonder if they will even bother with wild fish. If they, I mean, if they can make artificial meat, I wonder if people really get into artificial fish as well. I see why not. That's I guess so. But some of them are not going to make the cut. Like no one's getting artificial tilapia. Why not? It's not that good. It, not yet. So they if make it market, better. Sure. Why do you even call it tilapia then? But like tuna? Because people like the name. I guess. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm really optimistic about artificial meat. I mean, it seems mm -hmm. that they're, I mean, it, at one point in time, it was like a quarter million dollars for a hamburger. And now mm -hmm. they've got it down to a point where you can actually make a, a, an animal meat product mm -hmm. that does not come from an animal dying. That's right. They're very close to being able to make this in a, a mass marketed way. That's right. That's interesting. I'm, I'm excited about that. I think that's very interesting. <laughs>